Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. If memory serves me correct, this is the third video I've done on getting a hotspot running on your Raspberry Pi. This is going to be by far the quickest and easiest setup that I've shown yet. Stick around and we'll get right into it. Alright, so the last video I did on, uh, I believe it was entitled, A Better Access Point. Uh, it is quite a bit better. Uh, the only problem with that one is it's quite a pain in the rear end to get installed. So I've written a script that automates the vast majority of that process for you. So opening up the terminal window, the first thing we need to do, now I'm running a brand new install right now of Raspbian Stretch. I believe it's dated April of 2019, and I have done absolutely nothing to this system so far. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is sudo apt-get update. And we'll give that just a couple of seconds to finish up. All right, and once that finishes, and this is a critical step, you should always run this next command before starting on any updates to your system or installing any new software. Uh, but this one is sudo apt-get upgrade. And this one takes a few more minutes to install, but we'll be back as soon as it finishes up. Okay, now that the upgrade is finished, let's head over to the GitHub website. And I'll leave a link to this address down in the description below. Let's go ahead and click on the raw button here. And let's copy this web address right at the top. And head back over to the Pi. Once on the Pi, let's move to our downloads directory with cd space downloads. And let's use the wget command and paste in that web address that we just copied. All right, if we list out our directory, we'll see that script right here. Now let's go ahead and make that script executable with sudo chmod plus x auto hotspot in dash setup. Hit a return key. And if we run the list command again, we'll see that that's now in green, indicating that it's executable. Okay, next up we have sudo dot forward slash and the auto hotspot in dash setup. We'll go ahead and hit return on that and sit back and give it just a few minutes. Okay, after the script has been running for two or three minutes, it's going to pause and you're going to see this here. And this is asking you what password would you like to use when you connect to the Pi's hotspot. So enter whatever password you would like here. I'm just going to use my call sign here. And we'll give it a couple of numbers at the end. Go ahead and press return. It'll ask you to verify that that is correct. Uh, so a lowercase y tells it yes. And we'll press return and the script will continue on. And after a couple of more seconds, it's going to ask you for the SSID of your Wi-Fi that's already in your shack. So we'll need to know what we want to connect to. So I'm going to take a look right here. And I'm actually going to connect to this one, the KM4ACK-Portable. So we're going to enter this here. And this is case sensitive, so make sure you get the case right. And then you'll need to enter your password. And this is the password for your existing Wi-Fi connection in your shack. So after we type in our password, we'll go ahead and hit return. And then it's going to ask us if this information is correct. If it is, lowercase y says yes and return. At this point, we need to reboot. So we'll just type in reboot and return, and we'll be right back when the machine comes back up. Okay, once the reboot is complete, you should be able to look right here on your Pi 
and see that it did connect to my KM4 ACK dash portable Wi-Fi signal here in the shack. Next, let's test and make sure that the hotspot is working. From a terminal window, we're going to enter this command. And I'll, again, I'll leave this command down in the description below. Once inside, you'll see the SSID of KM4 ACK Portable, and you'll see the password that I'm running with it. Let's come to this line right here, and let's just add a 1 to that. And that's just going to change the SSID so that it will no longer be recognized. Let's use Control X, Y, and Enter to get out of that and save it. And next, we're going to run sudo forward slash usr forward slash bin forward slash auto hotspot in. This is the command that will check to see if it can see one of your SSIDs. And if it can't, it will go ahead and start the hotspot for us. So let's hit return here. And you'll be able to see in the output that it could not find one of our SSIDs. That's because we changed the name of it. And it created the hotspot. If we look right here, it's going to tell us that wireless LAN 0 was stopped. Next, let's run hostname dash capital I. And you'll see now that we have two IP addresses. I know that this one here is the Ethernet connection. And the 10.10.10.10 is going to be the wireless access point that the Pi is generating. On my Mac up here, I'm just going to open up and take a look at the available hotspots in my shack. And you'll notice here that I have a new one, RPI Hotspot. And I can connect to this using the first password that we entered into the script. So we know everything is working. Now, to change back to the regular running mode, we're going to modify the WPA supplicant file again. And we're going to take out this one that we entered right there. Control X, Y, and Enter to get out. And then we'll run the auto hotspot command again. This time, you'll see that a valid SSID was detected. It shut down the hotspot and it's bringing the Wi-Fi back up. At this point, we're reconnected to the KM4 ACK dash portable, which is my Shaq's Wi-Fi. Now, one last thing. Let's assume that you don't want your hotspot to be named RPI hotspot. Let me show you where to change that at. So first, let's clear the screen, and then let's paste in this command here. And this is the hostapd.comp file. Again, I'll leave this command down below. Once we enter that, you'll see right here the SSID of the hotspot. You can change this to be whatever you want it to be. You'll also see the password that we entered at the very beginning of the script listed here. So you can also change the password to it if you would like. And again, to save and exit, it's Control x then Y, then Enter. And that's it, guys. That's as easy as I can possibly make it. I hope this helps you get your hotspot up and running. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. And until next time, 7-3.